Now, now do do double time. Now do triple time. Is that right? Beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Now you hit the body sometimes when you want to, you know, sort of uh, make it. So. You're kind of playing drums at the same time. Yeah, so you're you're kind of keeping your your drum kit going and and. Uh, oh, it's so cool. Oh, my canvases are all completely. I know. Isn't that this, I know. Mine that happened to me. <laughs> wow. Did you play before the movie? No, no. You no. did a heck of a job. Like, Thank you very the, much. Your Telecaster was so perfect. Isn't it a beautiful? Thank you for that's doing a that. Beautiful guitar. Mr. Sorry. Springfield, how are you, sir? Yeah, yeah. It's an honor to meet you. <laughs> this is an incredible honor to sit across from both of you. Are we still rolling? Okay, cool. thank you. He's a good player. Oh, yeah. good. Um, how you doing? This is good. Kevin McCarthy from Washington, D.C. I recognize your shoes. Yeah, oh, dude, I got the new ones. They're not as good as the old ones. These are the best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But nice to meet you guys both. It's an nice honor to, to sit across from you. I thought one of the greatest lines in the movie was this idea of someone saying, you can't have two dreams. And I thought that was a fascinating line because I feel like... Who says that? Uh, it's, Kevin. Yeah. Oh. And it's a great line because I feel Nobody like... Nobody listens to him. <laughs> but they're, but, they're, but I feel like you can. And I feel like you've both achieved that because you both have kids and you've both achieved your dreams as being actors and musicians. Can you talk about that balance of family? and work and kind of keeping that together? Well, that moment where her ex-husband says, she says, I can't have two dreams. He goes, no. There it is. That's why that marriage huh. wasn't ever going to mm -hmm. work. Because, really? You married this person? You knew who that was? Mm -hmm. And then you say, no, you can't have that thing that is like part of your essence. Mm -hmm. Well, that's never going to reside, that marriage. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I'm, also, I'm a big, big fan of movie making. I love Jonathan. I think he's one of the greatest filmmakers ever. My favorite shot in the film was when you both arrive at the wedding and he pushes into you yeah. with the tracks. And I love those shots. But for me, I love live singing. Mm -hmm. I love live recordings and, and the fact that it felt real when you're watching. Can you talk about the difference in doing a live performance versus, I know Mamma Mia was recorded. I think you did one live track in Into the Woods. But do you yeah. talk about the difference in that and how the performance changes when you're live versus recorded? It's a lot scarier. <laughs> <laughs> But it's alive, you know? Mm -hmm. So whatever the mistakes are, generally the terror comes in in knowing the economics of movie making, which is that you have, you're going to have maximum two times, maybe three times through the song. That's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> and it's going to live intact, you know? I mean, Joey Vitale had a click track, so on the drums, in theory, they could have cut between takes, right. but they didn't because... Huh. You know, we were always a little off. Yeah. Because that's the way we are. It was a great. I think it was a great evolved. choice of Jonathan's to have it play Authentic. live because it's, yeah. it's it. You you can tell. I mean, even if you don't know about lip syncing, you can tell when someone's really playing and singing and they're not. I think you have one of the most profound speeches I've seen in a movie in a long time. It's a speech about Mick Jagger yeah, and the idea awesome. of a male rocker versus a female rocker and how he can have the, all these kids and not make and be a, considered like a god rocker and then a female makes a mistake and it's like this terrible thing. Can you compare that like to the acting business? Is there a similarity there at all? Or do you feel that's like I go across the board. I Pick just, a business that yeah. that isn't true. It's everywhere, yeah. Pick one. <laughs> but I mean, can you talk about, like, have you dealt with that at all? Like, just like in, as an actress yourself? And I feel like it's such a crazy thing to think about that for a second. It's a wild speech. Sure, it's a wild speech, but it's true. It's true in, in journalism. It's true in mm -hmm. the blogosphere. It's true in the tastemakers, in the news, people that are the gatekeepers of the news. It mm -hmm. is true in business. It's true in, it's true. Yeah, I, I <laughs> you know, there are just different rules. And uh, so, I don't know. I'm not going to whine. I'm happy. Yeah. But uh, it's good to be an actor. Uh, but, yeah, for a lot of people, they <clears throat> they hit the wall mm -hmm. on the double standard. Yeah. Well, you do wonderful work. It's an honor to sit across Thank from both you. of you. I had more questions with the rap than yet, but <laughs> well, it's so nice to wow. meet you guys. Yeah. That yeah. was fast because we played the guitar. Thank you one of the best actresses ever. Oh, I mean, thank you. Deer Hunter is one of the films that kind of got oh me into God. filmmaking and Michael did a phenomenal job with that movie and that's so cool. just to sit across me is an thank honor. You. So that's really same cool. to you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate so that. Congratulations to you, by the way. Uh, I'm a big fan about movie making, so there's a, great, there's a couple of great shots in the film where they actually show photos of your younger selves as a younger family. And I want, this is kind of a two-part question. Is, it, is there a photo day that you guys go out and do the shots? And the second thing is, are some of those actually you at a young age? 
Yeah, it's a mix. It's a mix. We had like a, a photo shoot <laughs> that was down in the meat packing district with me and, and Sebastian and Nick and um, was sitting in this funny park, this median right by the West Side Highway in Manhattan, trying to sell that as like Indianapolis and sitting there with this like large white poodle. Um, <laughs> And then, and then, yeah, they have us. The art department always asks for um, for baby photos and stuff um, at the beginning of every any shoot to dress uh, a house set, yeah. and that was really easy for my mom and I because <laughs> the the baby looked like the mom, and they, yeah, you know, it was they didn't. Are have some to of those really you and Mary, like you and your, you and your mom? From like yeah, a, that's really cool. Did you go through them together? The no, actually, ones? I think I I think I just tasked it tasked it <laughs> to her because she was at home. I was yeah. like, can you just bring some. Family. Mom, grab yeah. bring these. I've always wanted to know this because when I was growing up, R-rated movies were things I couldn't watch until I was young. I know this is not R, but mm -hmm. my question is: Your mom made two very famous R-rated movies before you were born, Deer Hunter and Sophie's Choice. Mm -hmm. At one point, do you, are you allowed to watch those if you're the daughter of the person who's in this movie? Did she let you watch those at, at a younger age? Do you remember seeing those for the yeah, first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I saw Sophie's Choice. I think I was a little too young, <laughs> frankly. I yeah. think that that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was perhaps a little bit dramatizing, um, but I, it's interesting, you know, watching them over again now as an adult. And there, are, there are a bunch that I have not seen. Really? That, uh, yeah, that I can't see. I mean, any any movie where she, if she gets sick, um, I don't. Like I don't. August Osage, you didn't? Did you see? No, that? I saw August Osage, and that was wonderful. But like, there's a movie called One True Thing, mm. where I'm sure is a really great movie, but yeah, she is. she. Uh, she has cancer and she's dying and I was just like, I can't, I can't, couldn't, yeah. can't do it.